as I am sitting here in this pleasant garden, surrounded by the flowers of the jasmine, you will have heard, of course, from the street outside a few feet away, the vibrations and noise of a motor car going past. So that what looks like it is a lovely, peaceful garden on Newcastle Hill, every few minutes, you have such effects. And what I am prepared to call in this place the triumph of the juggernaut. Now there you see you have someone's electric lawnmower making a noise also. Now the problem is that we have been driven, bulldozed if you like, into believing that the private motor car solves all problems. It in fact has a huge capital drain as much as the private machines for drilling and mowing and whatnot on resources and power. And the exhaust, one again, the exhausts as you see are a problem. And one of the largest factors that's now admitted in the present day greenhouse effect is motor exhausts. We now have this situation largely because public transport has been cut back in tune with the purchases of the private motor car. Again, the private motor car has changed our habits of life. I bought this house in the heart of Newcastle at the age of about 40 because I was determined not to be a motorist and wished to have near at hand all the main resources. Since I've been here, nurserymen, hardware, and now most food shops have moved away. And in the inner city, you can buy nothing except ready-cooked meals, tourist gadgets, greeting cards, multitudes of shoes and what not in much of the area. So, as you can see, the pressure of the motor car has made possible the dominance of the supermarket. At the end of the corner shop, the one opposite me closed some years ago, when I came here, two or three nearby were functioning, a butcher and a greengrocer, gone 15 years and more ago. Now, it is no use talking about bringing people back into inner cities unless they can easily go on foot to find what they want. And it's no use thinking that those who can afford to live in the inner city must afford to run and enjoy running motor cars. Some do neither. We have in the inner city here many old retired people in reduced means, students and the like, who can't afford this thing others who don't want it. And as you can see, even in a peaceful weekend afternoon, the noises of these vehicles are fairly repetitive and constant. Uh, so altogether, it's very important that we start recognizing the need to maintain an inner city area where people want to live if you in fact really wish to have in a city are not inhabited. If you want it like New York, full of derelict buildings, thugs and gangsters, well, good luck to you. Let's have all cities like that if you want. And please don't think more of other solutions. They attract people certainly, but not all those you would want. So as you see, the juggernaut and its activities are increasingly an issue which we might worry about. I would hope that people will very carefully give thought in local government elections to precisely what kind of person they want to have uh, living in their cities and what kinds of needs should be provided to keep the inner cities inhabited by residential people. This issue will not go away.